Our next laureate is Robert Lantos. In a career spanning over four decades, producer Robert Lantos has helped develop many of this country's leading filmmakers. He built Alliance Communications, Canada's first major production and distribution studio, which later, with the launch of Showcase and History Networks, expanded into broadcasting. He produced, he invested in, he exported to the world. He was deeply involved in the creative execution again and again and again. Films by Jean-Claude Luzon, Patricia Rosema, and fellow Governor General's laureates, Denis Erquin, Robert Lepage, Adam McGoyan, and David Cronenberg. He has adapted many important Canadian literary works for the screen, and his films have been nominated for both Golden Globes and Academy Awards. Ho hum. <laughs> he has won top prizes at the Cannes Film Festival, the Canadian Screen Awards, every top award in the world you've seen Robert Lantos's name associated with. Robert Lantos is also the architect of many long-running dramatic television series, among them Due South, ENG, and Night Heat, all of which won the Canadian Screen Award for Best Dramatic Series. Man of Justice, Robert Lantos. Chief Justice, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I took my first film courses at McGill in 1970, and I produced my first feature in 1976. So in a career as long as mine, there are many who facilitate and many who open doors. And they all share in this honor. But there's one person who's the real architect responsible for me being here tonight. So let me tell you about my mother. Agnes Bodor was a couturier. In Budapest, before the war, word of her talent spread far and wide among the ladies who wore couture. By the time the Jewish edicts brought an abrupt end to her fashion salon, she had a loyal clientele and employed 18 seamstresses. After the Jewish edicts came the war, Nazi occupation, followed by Stalinism. All private enterprise was abolished. But my mother continued to make dresses and now working alone at home. And this is when I was born. Now, word has it that I was a rambunctious sort. <laughs> so to keep me quiet and out of trouble in the age before television was invented, my mother experimented with reciting poetry while sewing dresses. Her strategy worked, and I asked for more. Fortuitously, she had memorized the complete works of the three great Hungarian poets, Petőfi Sándor, Arany János, and Vörös Marti Mihály. So for months, their words kept me sitting at her feet in rapt attention. Then one day, she protested that she was too tired and she begged off poetry duty, which is when I offered to take over. And I proceeded to regurg regurgitate all the poems I'd heard. I could not read, but I could memorize. My proud mother then began to show me off to family, to friends, to acquaintances, to anyone who would listen. This led to stage appearances with the People's National Kindergarten Theater. <laughs> I was three years old, and I had discovered my true calling, telling stories. After that, it was just a matter of how and when. My mother is now 99, and this medal belongs to her. Good evening. Everybody. 